Hello beautiful earth angels, just tuning in for a mini reading. I'm uh, going to be putting you some oracle cards and getting a straight to the point message for you guys. What do you need to hear right now? I'm going to be using this deck actually just to do some shorter readings like this every now and again. Just a bit more shorter I guess to the point because they're very clear. They have like, you know, topics on them. Storm, unexpected, ooh ooh ooh. Okay, let's get into the reading. I'm going to shuffle the cards and, and then I'm going to put them down so you can tune your energy into them. And then we shall cut the deck. So if you want to tune your energy into this deck, you guys, we're going to be asking, what is the message for you who's tuning in right now? Okay, we have seeds and spring. Okay, so let's get another one to clarify this. Seeds and spring could be talking about ideas and seeds that you're planting right now. These can be inspirations, these can be uh, plans, this can be projects that you're planning to do, um, you know, traveling that you're planning to do. Whatever this is, spirits planting seeds and they're going to start really, really, really blooming in spring. You know, it's the perfect time for them to plant seeds for you right now because as you're in the winter, it's like you're sitting with these seeds, sitting with these ideas, sitting with these inspirations as they're forming and in the spring they're going to bloom so yeah if you're watching this when i put it up when the we're kind of just about to go into the winter after the solstice the winter solstice or is it the winter equinox i don't know <laughs> don't come for me but um yeah so back to the point back to the point so oh 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 attraction mars hot yeah, so it's like you're getting this inspiration to take action on some things or start planning things, maybe preparing to start doing some things. And it seems like whatever these ideas or these seeds are, they're going to be blooming very beautifully come the springtime. Maybe you would have taken fuller action on them in spring. Maybe they would have actually created a solid foundation by the time we get to spring. So let's clarify. Two, three, four, I just saw. Okay, messages and dreams. So this is telling me a lot, again, you guys, you're getting messages in your dreams, you're getting inspirations and envisions, insights, things that you're seeing, synchronicities, like as downloads, epiphanies, and dreams as in sleeping dreams, but also your dreams, like your passions, your dreams in that way as well, you guys, that this is revolving. And this is saying, yeah, like you're getting new inspiration and planting seeds on dreams of yours. And they are literally waiting in the quantum realm, right? And they are waiting within your mind and they are going to start materializing. Right now they're a seed and from that seed is going to grow some mighty trees, maybe even a forest, you know? So what else do we need to know? Regret and repression. What was this about? Storm and unexpected. Yeah, if something like if you guys wanted to do something in the past or like you started a passion already in the past or you already tried to follow your dreams in some type of way, maybe you applied for something and you got declined or maybe you thought something was meant for you. Uh, a passion, an inspiration, but it didn't end up working out, or maybe you just lost interest. It's like all these things in the past, these were supposed to happen. These unexpected things that could cause some repressed regret because it's like, oh, I wish that could have worked out, or maybe that could have been this way. And it's like it's all culminating up to this point now where you're getting these seeds, and these seeds are the answers to these things in the past that took an unexpected turn or maybe didn't work out or there was some type of disappointment it's like yeah these are the reason why because these seeds wanting to be planted and your subconscious and higher self already knew but you back then couldn't see but it's like no we can't grow those back there even though it seemed like a good idea at the time because you don't know what's going to come in the future and you're about to plant these seeds and they're a big part of your destiny that's why you're getting messages in your dreams about it or confirmation in readings and you know from your own intuition that these are good ideas because 
these are something deeper within your spiritual path. It's a very higher timeline. So the things in the past that crumbled, these were supposed to happen for these seeds to have the space to grow. So we have higher self just pop over as well. That just flipped over. Activation. Your higher self is activating right now in is activated and in communication with you. And your higher self <clears throat> has been orchestrating all of this. Orchestrating these seeds being planted. These ideas being brought to you. Like everything's in divine timing. And they are literally feeding you the light bulbs when you need them. They're also destroying what needs to be destroyed, right? And your higher self's also helping you to find clarity right now as cycles close out because cycles close out when we have full understanding of all the events that played out and their purpose and why and how it all connects and that's kind of like what's happening here it's like as these seeds are moving in for you now you're gaining this clarity because you're coming full circle in a type of way to do with this journey it could be about your passions could be about your uh, self-belief as well and your dreams and your journey to pursuing your dreams so what other cards do we need to get for this last message we have contracts career and commitments definitely you guys this could have been about a career or a contract or a commitment or a a commitment in a way that's like a dedication you dedicated time you dedicated effort to something and it's like you're coming full circle new seeds are going to start to be planted and maybe it's like you, your past experiences have given you the experience you needed for what you're about to step into and what you're about to step into is a big opportunity to for change it's a big opportunity to take a leap of faith it's a big opportunity to take a leap of faith on your freedom and with the universe uranus is a very transformational kind of energy and this is like yeah coming up as opportunities for you to go in these new directions to plant these seeds and your third eye is literally bringing you that clarity your third eye is bringing you these messages that you need to know and your third eye is what's guiding you towards taking these leaps of faith into the new out of your comfort zone and maybe sometimes doing something a bit different maybe so you're following to where you're being pulled towards and you are learning to let go of anything that happened in the past that seemed unexpected that at one point was misunder like wasn't being understood and it's not because of you guys it's because there was still the rest of the journey to go and so now we come full circle at the end of that journey things in the past are being understood because you're about to come across an opportunity that seems like everything led to this moment everything led to this idea everything led to this niche or this passion or this pursuit or this path that you want to go down it's like yes this is meant for me right that's how it feels so yeah splitting it again to action jupiter courage and beginnings you're building up the courage and you're going to take some leaps of faith there's going to be such a transformational energy of you literally breaking the chains breaking old patterns breaking away from limitations to take this leap of faith you're building the courage you're making discoveries and you're beginning you're beginning a journey so one last card we have present abundance and gratitude yeah so you're going to be coming and already are look sorry i just put the deck to this as well celebration gifts and abundance you're going to just feel really in the present moment when all of this is coming about and around when you're in this energy of taking action and uh gaining these inspirations because they're all in linked in with your gifts and your gifts are linked into your highest timeline or one of the higher timelines that your soul really wants to build on so your soul wants to build on this higher timeline because it's a timeline of abundance. So this doesn't just mean material, this is in every aspect. So yes, material, spiritual, this means for your time, your energy, you're going to be able to sit in this energy of freedom and gratitude and presence and feel like you are not weighed or bound or tied to anything. Some of you are going to be self-employed and it's like you're not going to feel bound or tied to you know, times or schedules or bosses or anything like this because you're stepping into your own gifts. 
you're creating for yourself and you're taking a leap of faith and taking a chance on yourself to take a courageous action to start something of a new beginning that your higher self has been calling you toward. You've been getting messages about this, downloads, intuitive information about this, dreams about this, about these seeds that are waiting to be planted that have been lying dormant within your energy. Your energy has been activated to a higher level recently and this is because your life force prana inside of your body, your life force energy has been activated out of dormancy at a deeper depth of level and released, unleashed and released into your body. As it's been unleashed into your body, it's going through your chakras and ultimately awakening energy within your chakras that has been dormant as well. It's awakening a lot inside of your body energetically and this is breaking down the old structure of the old self right old cells this is breaking down from an internal level to outer and transforming you so that you can shift into this abundant abundant higher timeline where you're celebrated for your gifts and where everything all of the chaos in the past where all of these things that were met, like no answers or seemed yeah like there was a lack of clarity or unexplained all of these energies are going to move into the past and be a thing of the past and everything will connect together and you will literally see everything make sense how everything led you to that moment where you took a leap of faith on yourself you guys it's like in a future timeline you're not tied down to these commitments you're not tied down to contracts you are <laughs> abundant already and you're free you're abundant and you're free and you're present in the moment so yeah i feel like there was something i was going to say then but it went but that is where well split the last card that we'll end this reading on is fulfillment and wish your wishes are gonna be fulfilled all of this is prepping you for this time where you step into this beautiful, beautiful abundance. And yeah, so no time frames on this, but this seems like something that's currently undergoing. So you're in this, this seed stage of this. So as the year, the new year comes in and you start to travel through next year, these things, these shifts, these things are happening. These seeds will start growing next year. These actions will be taken from now into next year. You know, within the next year, you're going to see some wishes fulfilled that you didn't think possible, that make you feel really free. Some of them could be involved in traveling. Some of them could be involved in a house. Some of them could be involved in someone quitting a job and being self-employed. Some of them could be involved in someone making their gifts an abundant, in abundance and support them. This is big. This is beautiful. This is big and this is beautiful. So... I love you all so much and I will speak to you all again soon in the next reading. Mwah.